Hey guys, welcome back to another achievement video from Project Cars 2. Today we're gonna take on the straight 6 achievement, which I'm gonna show you how to set up in just a second. But before that, I'll try to add some uh, post-race commentary on this race, since it's kinda long. <laughs> and uh, yeah, let's see how that goes. So, for setting up the achievement. And now for the setup. For this to work, you have to be driving the Porsche 911 GT1 car onto the 24 hour of Le Mans circuit during 24 minutes. Now, you cannot select 24 minutes per se, but you can go for 25 and heck, who cares about one extra minute, right? Also, you have to set the time progression to 60 times, which means that you will get to have a full uh, day-night cycle during this race. Now, I've added the session start time to 15, just like a uh, real amount. And uh, also, to add a bit of diversity, I added two more random weather slots, which might make the race a bit more interesting. Now, for the other parts, I also added some uh, multi-class opponents. I like uh, multi-class races on Le Mans, because it also adds to the diverse, interesting race where anything can happen, you can catch up slower cars from behind, others can catch you from behind, it, it's just crazy. So, on to the race then. And here we are at the start of the race. Now, as you can see, I've put myself at the end of the pack, not wanting to go through qualifiers and so on. What this means for me though, is that I have to get past all the low tier cars as fast as possible and try not to get caught up in a crash until the Dunlop Bridge. Cause that usually happens and as you can see about now, somebody, somebody already lost a wing there. Now as you can see I already caught up to my class and the prototype ones, there's the fellow Porsche in front. And uh, now, onwards to the Molsain Street. Not much to say about this section really. Just trying not to hit anything and not go flying out, out of the road surface. And now on the street. This is one of my favorite parts of Le Mans actually, of course it's just a straight road, you can catch top speeds here and take a short break. <coughs> Now this first chicane is sort of a test every time I drive a new car around Le Mans since, uh, since you need to get the braking point a bit right you either get to brake too fast and you come to a full stop before the chicane or too late and then you're going 300 km per hour into a wall and you do not want that. As for the second chicane, I really don't like it. It's basically the same as the first one, only on the left side, but somehow it's only it's always harder to get. Now after you're past the chicanes, there's another bit of straight road. And then uh, you get into the Molsane corner, which kind of breaks all your momentum and you break almost to a full stop here trying to take this corner and then you're on to Indianapolis I always like this stretch of road when you come when you come on it with the sun in your eyes and it's just pretty can find another word for it and now we're downshifting and getting ready for Arnage. 
this is the corner I really hate and it's a real hit or miss for me on this circuit. And apparently this time was a hit. Apparently we're passing some prototype cars and we're slowly getting into the final section on the mall. And this is the section I feel I still have to work on. I mean, I need some practice on this part because even now I feel like I'm going way too slow and as you can see everyone kinda caught up, fellow Porsche even managed to get me out of the race. Speaking of, that wasn't the best re-entry ever, I think I violated every safety regulation ever. Maybe I should have waited for the track to be empty. But since this is an achievement video and not a clean driving sort of video, I'll just live with it. Now, on the second lap, my goal here would be to gain some positions, get back where I was, but I'm pretty sure that's not... But I'm pretty sure that's not really gonna happen, so I'll just try to push it as much as possible and see what happens. Yeah, I think it was about time I put my headlights on. No, I'm still tailing those guys, trying to get up places. Yeah, I had a feeling he was gonna go past me. Came in a bit too fast here. And now for another close encounter with our Arnage. Ah, apparently we're good friends in this race. Trying to floor it as much as possible through here. 
not want to be taken out of the race again or get in someone else's way keep checking those mirrors I feel you there on my right. Well, small mistake there. Beamer got passed, but he's in another class. Shouldn't be too much to worry about. Only the idea of a lower class car going past. Yay. Well, at least now I have a new secondary objective in my head, get past the beamer, so the race won't be so painfully boring. But there's still someone very close to me, or by my side, as you can see the dashboard is kinda lit from someone else's headlights. Very smooth entry into the first chicane and almost half of the race is done. Why thank you. It's nice how on the street you get to feel every freaking little bump in the road in through the force feedback of the wheel. Finally, sort of catching up to the Beamer. And maybe, just maybe, nah, not passing it yet. Very wide turn on Arnar. He was a lot braver than me on this turn. Someone touched me again. I think it's the GT3 Aston Martin. And into the third lap.
Okay, another little bomb by the Aston Martin. Oh, that guy is stressing me out a bit. I'm trying to go way faster so I leave him behind but uh, that's not helping me. Oh dude, would you please stop it? And the new day has dawn. So what's worth mentioning is that by this point the car feels like a total different car, like half of the fuel is almost gone, which means it's a lot lighter and it goes faster but also less grippier. And also my brakes should be heated, maybe overheated and the uh, braking distances should be longer and yeah. They just all have to be more cautious a bit. Well, apparently this Beamer was a lot braver than I was. Go ahead, son, go ahead. And get back behind. I think we'll meet again, but hey, yep. Now, fuck off, Aston. Hey, sorry about your ring, mister. Apparently everyone is losing wings during this race. Now my biggest problem here is the fog. Of all the weathers, of all the random weather slots I could catch, apparently it had to be fog. It's not a big problem per se, but uh, for me I was using the Oculus DK2 since my consumer version is broken and uh, it and it was really hard to see anything it's like it has this uh, very low resolution and it's kind of it's awful in weather si in foggy situations
Oh, finally got rid of the Astel. Well, actually, it's nothing to be proud of, but he won't annoy me. Okay, here we go again. And I'm also catching up to Mr. Sorry About Your Ring. Well, that should be almost another lap. It's all relaxing and just take it home now. At least I don't have anyone in front or in back. I can just drive at my pace and try not to fuck up. Also note to self try to kill the steam notifications next time I record something. Here I was also trying to see how much I can push it through these corners. Here it is, last lap. Let's bring this home. Whoa, almost lost it a bit there. Yeah, that's one of the faster cars gaining up from behind, and I kind of fucked him up without noticing. So I'll just try to go as left as possible, leave him space, try not to do that again. Okay, brake too hard, too late, brakes locked up, 
just had to stop the car and do a correction there. It wouldn't be one of my races without at least one big fuck up. And last meeting with Arnage, started the wind wipers trying to close the headlights, but although in this fog I shouldn't have closed the headlights. Whoops. And here's the last section towards the end of the race, just Keep it steady. going too wide and across the finish line and there's the achievement and someone else playing a game well that's it for now as usual see you later with other achievement videos races and whatnot so have a good one